Hey everybody, welcome back here. Episode 5 of the Midnight Suns playlist playthrough is up and on the channel here. This one uh, is a highlight of Nico Minoro from The Runaways. And um, for those who uh, may recall that show who weren't too familiar with this game coming in, they actually retained the voice, uh, or the actress, excuse me, as the voice actor for Nico, which is pretty cool. Um, again, like little lore stuff like that, that I think is pretty cool that they can carry over, you know, recognizable people from game to game. Similar to what uh, HBO's done with a couple of the actors that are now in The Last of Us series for anyone that's been watching that, which has been pretty cool too. So yeah, anyway, um, onto this one. This is a pretty quick episode. I think this is probably one of the shorter ones so far, maybe the shortest so far. Um, a little bit of dialogue and stuff up front here in the Abbey. It's a little bit of background there. And our first introduction to some of the um, clubs, particularly this one is the Emo Kids Club, which uh, is an acronym, a play on words there that uh, Nico and Doctor Strange and a couple others come together with. It turns into a, a pretty neat um, chain here of the game. You get to understand a little bit more of what happened the last time Lilith and the Hunter met in combat. Um, it's a lot of foreshadowing and a lot of mysteries. That's really cool. Um, I, I thought that was a really neat turn as I now where I'm at in the recording process, finished up all of the club activity. Um, also, like I said, yeah, we're bringing out Nico specifically on this next mission alongside Blade, which we've seen a couple of times. And um, I, Nico is another character who, honestly, at first I did not know, um, watching some character profile things, that I would get a ton of use out of, but the more that her deck developed, she becomes really, uh, it's really powerful in a multitude of ways. Her and Doctor Strange both are huge utility players on the game, so I really enjoy that. Um, I will say also, I have been uploading reels and other things um, kind of later in the game, just here and there on the Facebook page. So again, look up RyanXX87 there if you haven't. Be sure to give me a like, follow that. Um, I'm trying to concurrently post all the content there as I go. So definitely stay up to date with me there on Facebook. That's kind of become the new platform for me with this also. And uh, with that said, guys, I'm not going to take any more of your time. If I want to get straight into this episode so I can keep more content coming, I do have some XCOM queuing up behind this I'm still working on. Uh, this episode was done a little bit quicker, so I decided to go ahead and upload it first. So here we are with episode five of Midnight Suns. This one is titled Rise of the Runaway Witch. Enjoy it. And be sure to stick around for more to come. Hit that notification bell for all the latest uploads here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. For someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. Hunter, I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the great- So, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death. Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. 
the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right, emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus, or physical vessel, with your animus, or spiritual essence. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's Staff of One to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual? The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, Nay! Doctor Strange. The Ritual. How does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. Just tell me what to expect. Ah, yes. You will focus on recalling what was lost as we do everything in our power to restore it. Simple, really. Yes? How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, Strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode. A very small chance. Unlikely. How concerned should I be about exploding? Slightly more than usual. Does Strange have any other details about the ritual? Ha! Far too many. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico, and don't explode. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. <sighs> All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you see. I raced through the Abbey grounds. Angry. Terrified. It is too late. We were not ready. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot... No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later.
We've got a situation rapidly developing. I'll be in contact soon, Hunter. What are you doing, Faustus? Good girl, Charlie. I see you found another of our mystic landmarks. These are the Standing Stones. Your ancestors among the blood used them to converse with the Elder Gods. How does that work? Members of the blood would gather among the stones and enter a sort of meditative trance. They say the gods would hear their thoughts, but the blood never knew for sure who was listening on the other end. Some of the older texts refer to a series of glyphs etched on the stones, but at first glance they seem to have been scoured clean by time itself. Could they still be revealed somehow? You read my mind, Hunter. I suspect the glyphs are still here. They just need the right words of encouragement, if you catch my meaning. Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. So, what do you need? I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual for real aliens. There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. 
How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted, and I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure, what about us? How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. Still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. What are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. He and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do all the Avengers feel the same? No comment. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course.
Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Everything by the numbers. Stay out of trouble. Bye. This should be useful. A successful collaboration. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Until next time. I've got a kid I send on missions sometimes. What have you got for me, boss? Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. How long did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. I'm here if you need me.
Did you have any friends back before you were, you know, encased in a tomb? A few. Why do you ask? Ah, uh, just thinking about my time with the Runaways. You ever miss people from your past? I do. Are you talking about Agatha? Among others. Makes sense. Uh, sorry, stupid question. It is not stupid. Are you missing someone? Yeah, a good friend of mine. We kind of had a thing for each other, but it didn't work out. Still miss them, though. What happened to them? We went our separate ways. It felt like the right thing to do at the time, even if it hurt. I understand. Losing a friend to circumstance is never easy. That's putting it lightly. I knew you'd get it. Feeling nostalgic sucks sometimes. It will pass. Can it pass any faster? My brain needs to focus on other stuff today. My shirt. Too bad you had to die for it. I have something for you. Oh? Here you are. Good. Hmm, I don't know where to put this. That is Nico's problem now. Our mastery of the portals is incredible. It's all blood, sweat, and tears. Mostly blood. Let's do this. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. I know magic, right? out there, kiddo. And you're making an impression on your teammates. Make sure you let them know how you feel about their efforts, too. They'll appreciate a kind word from the legendary hunter.
usually works. Isn't Dr. Faust's wanted for war crimes? Huh, you guys might be accessories, you know? I'll put this to good use. Where'd you learn that one? Watch has arrived. Target the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. Still in my prime. that truck before they start moving.
How about this one? Had your chance to escape. Hail that. Position compromised. Finish it off while you still have a chance. Who's next? It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Ought to make things interesting. Aw, you guys are so adorable thinking you can beat us. Truck isn't going anywhere, but you'll have to deal with Hydra before you can head home. Enemy is mobile. Recruit at position Tango. It's good to be back in the fight. This is really I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Excellent work.